Ian, it's the last uh, game of the season here at uh, Starts Park. It's a uh, seventh position. Um, it's an evening where I know you wanted the, the guys to go out and remember that people are paying a lot of money. They hold a lot of pride in um, the fact that they're Race Rover supportors. Um, do you feel your team gave uh, good value for the support? Yeah, I did. I felt um, in terms of work rate, certainly. Um, you know, just before we go into, I just want to congratulate Dundee as well on, on winning the championship. Uh, I, f I felt they deserved it as well. Commiserations to other guys who were in there. Um, um, but over in the game, I felt we deserved our point. First half, we were very poor. First of all, we're very good as well. We have to acknowledge that they're a really good football side and they, they play really good stuff. They're playing a short game now, um, and we struggled with their movement and to, to match the runners. And we looked a wee bit tired, which is understandable, and a wee bit leggy. Um, but second half, thought we were excellent. You know, we got much closer to the players in the wide areas. We nullified their two wide players who were causing us a lot of bother. Um, two set halves done excellent as well. So delighted for the players to get their point. Delighted for the supporters to go away with a with a wee smile on their face because we all deserve that today. A couple of goals, penalty kick. Um, we, we didn't succeed in our last penalty against this so away. We, we've got Lewis Vaughan doing that tonight, and then we've got a, a nice strike for the edge of the box. Um, nice bit of uh, confident play from uh, our ultra utility player. Uh, it's going to go. Yes, uh, the penalty was it was a crazy decision from the party the player. The, these things happen, you know, in the moment, and you, you, it's a, maybe an instinct from the player. It was a, cl a clear penalty kick. Um, once we moved Scott into the number 10 role, I felt he, he really imposed himself in the match and probably deservedly won man of the match this evening. He scored a, a fantastic goal, he's got that in him. I, I, I've said it for a long time, I like Scott, I like his, just the way he goes about his business. He's a, he's a really likeable likeable guy as well, so to see the ball hit the net, delighted for him. Um, we were trying to hold on to that lead and just that one chance um, and, they, and they pop it in and then obviously towards the end Jamie comes up with an incredible save. Um, you know, I was expecting the net to bog, so um, we have to thank our goalkeeper as well. I know I made a deal off uh, camera here but I, I can't keep it. Um, I've got to say the words, ball into the box, <laughs> second ball, it, it's it's the, the season's uh, story isn't it? Yeah there was, there's a couple of things in it, you know it's, um, we, we don't get out to the wide player quick enough, you can't let a player like of Tiffany's ability and standard go, in, go into these areas of the park and not expect them to produce, he put, hits a good shot at Jamie, good save, falls to their player um, and, and Liam Dick nearly gets it on the line which would have been a wee bit of a get out of jail card. Um, so that was disappointing. Uh, the second goal, I just felt we switched off a wee bit on the right hand side. Uh, we could have been in, in better positions. Um, you know, balls come across the face, it's come back in, and then it, and it's in the back of the net. And that's what good teams do. Yeah, if you switch off for for five, ten seconds, the ball can be in the back of the net. But as I say, overall, immensely proud of the boys over the whole season. Immensely proud of the football club because we've been through a lot together. Um, and, and tonight epitomised our character and, and our our work rate. What we've been doing since the summer. Tell us about the sport tonight. Um, you know, it's a seventh place uh, finish before for a ball kicked. Uh, we knew that was the state of play, but it's good numbers and 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 you know a, a lot of affection shown from the support at the end of the end of the match and of course the end of the season. Yeah, since I've came in, they've been been tremendous, and you know, again, it's been hard for the supporters. If you think back to this time last year, this was a this was a football club that was getting a lot of punches thrown at them, and a lot of, a lot of people were throwing stones and uh, at the club, not at, not at the players, but at the football club. So we're trying to re rebuild it, rebrand it a little bit. Uh, football's a game full of mistakes. Uh, full of opinions, and you're not always going to agree, um, and that was unfortunate for the for for Ray Flowers. And we just felt coming in, we're trying to unite everybody together. There's always going to be criticism, of course there is, and, and nobody likes criticism. But you have to take it sometimes and try and learn from it. And we've had our fair share, which is which is normal. Uh, we've had it some of us for 25, 30 years now, so we're used to it. Um, but but we go out every single week, try to win the game, and we and we try you know try to win it for the supporters and ourselves. And they've given us you know. Unwavering backing, you know, they've, they've had to spend a lot of money in away games, a lot of midweek games, a lot of cup runs, and that costs money to go to all these games. They don't want to miss out in, on moments. We would love to have repaid them with the with the cup, but we, we didn't quite manage. Um, but I think overall in the season we've repaid them with some decent performances, some some fantastic goals, and like I said at the start, uh, I'll be you know we want to work harder by the way, just for the record. But I don't think there's a bunch of boys in this league that would have put more into that. We've uh, we've met with the consortium coming in to um, look at investment and, and obviously start the building process for for next season and beyond. Uh, we mentioned about your your own role in that and the, the positivity um, that's that's afforded to yourself. Uh, how? How do we reach a point where um, Wraith Rovers supporters, board of directors and everyone associated with the club um, 
gets the best out of Ian Murray. What do we need? Yeah, well, obviously the, the, the guys are coming in. Obviously, jo John, who's, who's been fully supportive of me uh, since I came in, and, and I've learned a lot from John Sim as well along the way because he's a very astute man and very clever man. Um, but we probably did need just a little bit of a freshen up in terms of environment, in terms of facilities, because the facilities yeah. need to be upgraded for us to progress. I think what we'll get next season is, is a, a really united football club. It's, it's the structure will change, it'll be really streamlined, it'll be very coherent in what we're trying to do. Um, we'll work well within our limits because, um, uh, as the new guys have probably said, there's there's not a big, yeah. big case of money under the bed, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but we don't need too much, we just need to improve things. And my mantra has always been that when I enter a football club, in a better position, whatever that may be, and I think um, whenever that time comes, because um, because your 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 shelf life runs out, whatever you are, um, I, I'm very focused on um, making this a better a better environment and a better football club for the supporters. Um, we we always want to strive to do better. We, we, it's exciting times, we know that, but we have to also really underline it's going to be very very hard work, but we're ready for the challenge. The, the, the words that kind of got a bit of agreement when I mentioned it in today's interview was in terms of budget and forward um, planning was uh, healthy um, and competitive. Is that how you feel about things? And are, are you just straight uh, straight shoulder down and working, or, or do you take a um, time to To be fair, David, normally I'm one that just I don't need I don't need breaks. I just right. keep going. But I think when I, I look back over the last six seven years of my career, you know, I've been away in Norway. Um, Covid came, so you don't get a break. Your your kids are younger, so you can't go away. I think this is probably the first time that, I, that I'll openly say that a couple of weeks will will help me, um, and we'll come back refresh, refocus, ready to go. And um, you know, hard work starts um, very soon. Is that when we'll start seeing some um, indications of re-signings, new faces, and such like? So in terms of supporters, the way the way drop our guard a wee bit for a couple of weeks? Um, uh, no, I think there'll be news on that before then. Um, it's like any football club, there will be movement in terms of boys leaving, uh, boys with deals we can't agree on and we, we have to shake hands and that, that's football and that's life. There'll also be um, you know, a big eye on recruitment over the next a couple of weeks, so a lot of football in Scotland that's getting played in playoff games and in the top league as well, they've got to finish their season, so we're in the market for, for good fresh players that want to come and play for Rafe Rovers and if some guys um, don't accept their deal that again n no grudges hold from me I, I wish them well because I couldn't have asked any more from this season you know I'm, I'm not gonna you know hold grudges against anybody and also there'll be some boys who, who won't be offered a contract and that's in the main to help them because they need to go and play football and they need to make a career for themselves it's always you're generous with your time. You know the temptation is always to ask that next question, that next question, because it's uh, such a pleasure when we've got one to one with the manager of our football club. So we'll wish you well for the summer, and we'll thank you for your uh, contribution um, to all of our supporters via Wraith TV. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you, and um, we look forward to catching up with you after we break. Thanks, David. I, I echo them, them back to everybody at the football club because it's not just me and the, and the players; it's a whole whole staff. You know, we, we if they don't do their job, we can't train. Uh, if the pitch isn't ready, we can't play. The office staff don't do their job then there's no ticket sales so it's a huge team effort here we look to building that next season um, and you guys as well as I said uh, the other day it's the support that I've been given in internally inside the football club I couldn't have asked for anymore. Thank you. Thank you.